my favorites. They're one of your favorites. They're just good. They're just plain, plain old good singers. And um, would you give a great big welcome to Greater Vision? Make them welcome tonight.
and I, we don't have to no. uh, work with them, and uh, they're good. Yeah, they are. They did a great job. I liked it when Darren, uh, they did the song with uh, just the uh, keyboard. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when I first started out, that's all there was. I mean, there was a piano and a guitar. There would, nobody had soundtracks back then. How many, how, how many of you remember that? Nobody had the album. How many of you, how many of you thought it was better? Don't raise your hand. No, no, no. This is what it sounded like about 40 years ago.
song of praise and a heart that is grateful and searching for ways to tell you I'm thankful for all that you are to me. When my soul is troubled, you are my peace. When I am weak, you are my strength. And as 
As he drew close, their hearts filled with hope as faith spoke these words to their souls. Your healing is on the way. This is the day your life will change. Your pain is temporary. This suffering that you carry soon will be taken away. Your healing is on the way. You may be hurting. You may be tired. Each day, just a smile, knowing He's promised to answer your prayers, but you see no end to this trial. God may be using your faithful testimony to touch more lives than you ever did before. So just keep believing, telling your story, and claiming this promise in faith. Your healing is on the way. The healer remembers your name. Your pain is temporary, this suffering that you Sin will be taken away. Your healing is on the way. God's promised healing to all of His children in His perfect time and His way. Some will receive it in this life we're living. And some, when we see him face to face, until that moment, he's holding you close, and he will give peace in the pain. Your healing is on the way. 
years ago by the guy in the middle. His name is Rodney Griffin. <laughs> Rodney is now in the uh, Gospel Music Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he's still living. <laughs> Rodney and Jim Brady wrote this song, and uh, it has become one of my very favorites. Called older people. They grew up in a day of black and white, where wrong was always wrong and right was always right. And you never had to wonder come Sunday where they meet. With their sons and daughters in pew number three. But now this modern age has them feeling out of touch. The church has turned the page, isn't asking them for much. They're a fortune of knowledge, they've been through the fire. To have them here among us Just think how blessed we are Their wrinkles tell the story Of how they made it through They face the rain and weathered storms Their scars are living through Their wisdom is a treasure We could learn so much if we take the time to listen to older people. They can tell us how revival will melt a hardened heart, how teardrops on our Bibles is always where it starts. And when the way the church can still achieve if we'll preach the gospel boldly and stay on our knees. I'd rather hear from those who've been there telling how they overcame as they walked the road familiar and did it all in Jesus. Their wrinkles tell the story of how they made it through. They face the rain and weathered storms. Their scars are living proof. Their wisdom is a treasure right underneath our steeples. We could learn so much if we take the time. I don't want to miss the chance to sit and listen. We'll be blessed if we'll only pause and listen. Pause and listen to older Exactly what they think. <laughs> and 
I'm okay with that. I can take it as long as you can. <laughs> the other night I was walking in, you know, I have this uh, condition that it's taking my voice and it comes and goes and mostly goes. And I was uh, walking in the door and a lady who obviously didn't know about it grabbed my arm and she said, will you sing there is a river tonight? <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> and she said, well, why not? And I said, ma'am, I haven't sang in six years. And she folded her arms and she said, now, wait a minute. I saw you sing there is a river two weeks ago on a Bill Gaither TV show. <laughs> And I said, is that the one where I'm sitting in the front next to the piano? And there was a bunch of people around me and she said, yes. I said, I said, honey, they're dead. <laughs> so, it's, just, it's just me and Bill and Claude and Connie. That's the only ones left now. So... But anyway, so some of you are going to say, oh, Lord, you shouldn't be doing that song before Thanksgiving. Let me tell you something. And this is true whether you want to accept it or not. There are three holidays that Christian people should celebrate all year long. Amen. Three. One of them is Christmas because if he hadn't came we wouldn't have hope the second one is resurrection Sunday if he hadn't risen we wouldn't have life the third one is Thanksgiving and we should be thankful every day we live we're blessed So oh, we're going to sing now a year-round Christmas song. Yes. We went to London, England and recorded with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra two months ago. And I cannot describe it. You had to be there. But this will give you an idea. Let's do, uh, let's do the angels song, okay? See if you like this.
Chris Altman. He has been my favorite tenor for 32 years. That means a lot. Thank you. Very kind. He's going to do a song. Did you, did you speak up? Yes, I said thank you. For what you said, thank you. Actually, I said that means a lot. Thank you. That you said for 32 years in a row that I'd been your favorite tenor. That, so thank you. Okay, fine. Well, <laughs> seriously, no, it's, it's seriously, it's not every day you get to see a man his age <laughs> who still sings like a girl. Right? <laughs> He's gonna do. I know a man.
the temple sent a message to the world that every sin of man would have a price. Daily as the priest prepared an offering for the Lord, the purest of all lambs would have to die. But when John saw the promise walking down old Jordan's banks, the answer to the cries of all the lost, he knew in fact the temple things were soon about to change. The altar would forever be the cross. Put out the fire, here comes the glory, your sacrifice.